Hey, what's up everybody? Today we are going to be checking out Terminus 5.1 or Terminus running Android 5.1. I've actually not had the chance to use this in the past before 5.1, but yeah, it's a pretty great ROM. I've been pretty happy with it. You are going to see it is in fact from March 22nd. It is running the build number LMY47M and it is in fact running Android 5.1. Now, some quick stuff to go over before we get into the customization Terminus tweaks menu. You are going to find some stuff in display, and most notably is the ambient display features. So there are some new little implementations or improvements here, as you can overwrite the default values and get some better options for your timing values, and you can also adjust your pulse notifications or your pulse on notifications. It basically mentions that it will trigger the activation only on pending notifications, and the time settings can be adjusted on the visible duration anywhere from one second all the way to five seconds on that, and you can adjust your fade out based on 200 milliseconds all the way down to two seconds. You're also going to have an integrated DPI, uh, LCD density, volume, or uh, excuse me, value settings. So you can go in here and adjust that from 420 all the way to 616, the default being 560. So now you can, of course, go into the main settings here, Terminus Tweaks, and this is going to have all of your settings or features specifically for this ROM condensed in here. So going into your status bar, you're basically going to get your standard battery icon styles and your show battery percentage. This is pretty much typical on every ROM. You're going to get all your features here. You can place the percentage in the icon or next to it or hide it. Uh, your clock and dates, you'll be able to adjust this any way you want, center or right-sided. Uh, you can adjust the alignment, the AMs, PMs. You can adjust the date values and strings customized through all of the preferences and values here. And you can adjust the or adjust the colors as well. Uh, you will have one finger quick swipe pull down or quick settings, whatever that QS means. It is going to be limited only to the right side on this particular ROM, so there is no left uh, mode. So you will have to disable or enable this toggle based on that preference. And you will have uh, status bar weather options. So you can enable this in your header under your login, basically. So if you enable this, you will have to do a soft reboot or a reboot to have it turn on or enable that feature. And you will, of course, have to enable GPS to toggle your location coordinates in order to get the proper uh, information or data. And then you can turn off GPS if you want to after that. Navigation bar, you can set up that navigation bar. If you use the navigation bar, you can do anything you want in here. If you use LMT, you will have the option, of course, to disable the navigation bar with this ROM. You can just hit 0DP, which will hide it. You can change that from 48 to 20. So you can adjust the size if you use the default nav bar. You can edit this, of course. You can add icons, uh, actions. You can swap the icons around. You can add pages. You can restore defaults if you make any mistakes or just want to get back to the standard uh, lollipop look. And of course, you can adjust a lot of different things here with the uh, recents menu. You can go down here. You'll notice that right now the Google search bar is gone because I have the toggle enabled. If you disable the toggle, it will, of course, put the Google search bar back up there. Same goes with the clear all button. If you turn this on or off, it will place a clear all button there and you can adjust that. You also have the long press back button to kill the current foreground application. Volume keys, typical stuff here. You can turn on the device with the volume keys if you want to. So if your display is off, you can hit the power or the uh, volume keys, excuse me, to turn on the display. In the app sidebar, you can enable this. It will basically give you a little scrollable wheel for an app. So you can go in here and you can adjust what apps you want to include. You can put all kinds of different applications in here if you want to have less clutter on your home screen. So then you just set up your trigger, basically, how big you want the trigger width to be, the position, and the height. And then once you have that, you just use your finger. Now, you cannot adjust this to the left. As I can see here, it's only going to be triggered on the right. So be aware of that. As I mentioned, you have an ad blocker built in, so you won't have to install AdAway unless you want to, and you will just have to update the host files once you enable this. It comes defaulted, disabled. You do have a wake blocker, which is nice, or wake lock blocker, and you can enable this, and if you use better battery stats, you can go in there and find out what is keeping your device from going into a deep sleep, and then you can disable whatever service or whatever issue it is. Now you also have app ops, and this is basically short for app operations. Uh, it's a new thing for 5.1. It's, it's not really new in general, but it's kind of just being put into ROMs now. And you can basically go in here and toggle off certain values or specific information within the application, what's going on in the background of the application, or what you can basically choose the application to do or not do. 
So as you can see here, I can toggle whether or not I want it to access location services and other specific values in each application will have different settings, but you can go in here and adjust it to do anything you want. But yeah, that's pretty much Terminus ROM 5.1 running Android 5.1. And this is a preview from March 22nd. And that pretty much wraps it up, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Push that subscribe button if you want to support me. If you like videos like this, as I have more on the way. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.